Eyebrows for beginners? I got you. I'm going to be using an eyebrow pencil that has a spoolie. If you want a video using pomade, let me know in the comments. Pick a shade that is similar to your natural hair color. And I don't even want to hear that you have red or blonde hair. Benefit has all these shades. You could go from blonde to auburn. You ever see someone that has their eyebrows way too far apart or way too close together and they just look so off? To avoid that, you want to map out your brows like this. Place your pencil right next to your nose and mark right there. Then place it over your pupil and mark right there there that should be your arch then rotate it all the way to the end of your eye and this is where your eyebrows should end repeat on the other side it should look something like this you can start lightly filling in your brows and try to follow your natural brow shape you want to be really light-handed so instead of holding your pencil like this hold it from the end when your brows are pretty much filled in you want to take the spoolie and just blend out the harsh lines and just erase your little guide you can clean them up with a little flat brush and a little bit of concealer this brow looks really natural but it's a big difference compared to this wait watch this this powder claims to be super transfer proof my skin is super oily right now i haven't set it yet so i'm going to set it with the powder and then spray my face with water it's by a brand called perfect diary it's called the weightless soft velvet blurring loose powder oh let's try it out it comes with this little sponge and then like a sifter here goes nothing this looks amazing i know people always exaggerate when it comes to powders but this legit looks like a filter i don't have any filter on okay now i'm gonna spray my face with water oh. as you can see my face is really wet let's see if it transfers into my paper towel okay there's like a little bit right there but not really let's try this side too you see that there's like a tiny amount of makeup but not really like, even the brows are kind of coming off but not my foundation. Okay, I don't know what they put in this powder, but this is like magic. Camera action. I see you looking at my it literally looks like she's adding a filter on her face, but it's really simple. It's just an oil absorber. When you're oily, it can emphasize texture. So when you remove the oil, it makes you look smoother. I have this one by Revlon. It's like a little volcanic rock and I'll show you how it works. Do you see the difference? Look at my chin area. Look at my cheek right here. All it's doing is absorbing the oils. It's really simple. You can take it out whenever it's dirty and wash it and replace it. Really simple. When you want to figure out what color is going to make your eyes stand out the most, you have to look at the color wheel. I learned this in art class in high school, but the colors that are opposite of each other are the colors that are complementary to each other. So for brown eyes, the color that represents them the best is like an orangey, yellowy color, right? And across from that, is blue so blue is gonna make your brown eyes pop but right next to blue is also purple violet that is also going to be a complementary color for brown eyes I'm going to be using this purple eyeliner by shiseido look how tiny that is be drawing a thin little wing and add a bit to the lower lash line as well i wanted a little bit of a thicker wing so i did my hooded eyeliner trick this is what i got then just add your mascara and that's it your brown eyes are going to be looking so pretty if you want your brown eyes to pop, you have to try blue eyeliner. I did this look the other day and I got so many compliments. I used a liquid liner by one size in the shade Bossy Blue. I love these liners. To get the angle of my eyeliner correctly, I like to turn to the side and then just kind of imagine where I want my liner to be. I also do this to avoid that crease line. To make this point really sharp, I just take a little angled brush and just kind of extend that out like that. See how sharp that looks? Following the same angle, I also draw in my inner corner just like that. I line my lid very thin. That's just how I like my liner. You can see how my brown eyes are popping already, but I want to take it one step further and add blue mascara. Okay, I have to accept the fact that my lashes are so short, but look how pretty that looks. I'm obsessed. Look at it. Look at the brown eyes. The subtle pop of color is so pretty. You have to try it. Save or splurge, where I tell you what product is worth the splurge or if you should save your money. Yes, this is so worth it. I think you could save your money on this one love 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 this absolutely get it heck yes this is a great one eh not sure if this one's worth the cash uh yes i'll pretty much always repurchase this product